Hello, welcome to when passion meets education. This is the second episode. And it gives me tremendous joy to tell you that there is a guide inside you. The story behind the guide is simple. If you know what is inside you, you will find what is outside you. This is what we learned from Krista Kempsoy, author, TEDx speaker, a beautiful person with a golden heart and a soulful teacher. We thought we should find out from her where passion meets education and share some heartwarming story with you about what she has done, what she has seen and how she has discovered where passion meets education. Welcome aboard, Krista. Oh, thank you. Thank you for the lovely introduction. I'm happy to be here. It's morning for you and um, it's the 24th for you and it's the 23rd for me. We're always a little bit behind, aren't we? <laughs> you are inside, we are outside. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> twin, twin shall meet, Krista. Twin shall meet. Yes, yes. <laughs> um, okay, Krista. So I'm lovely. Chiming in, I'm chiming in from the Vancouver area, west coast of Canada. And um, I love this topic about passion meeting education. And I'd like to start by saying what passion means to me. Um, bringing passion to... Uh, to work as a teacher or as a teacher leader is a good way to live in that we reap the benefits as do our students and colleagues. To me, passion means that I share the three principles that I know to be so helpful and true to enable myself and others to live a life of learning and of joy while also this is important, while also having compassion for those less fortunate. To me, passion means sharing, filled with enthusiasm and deep feelings. It also means being committed wholeheartedly to sharing happiness and insights from our guide inside. And that's how what we, the term we use for natural wisdom. Krista, you um, used a, yes. sorry, sorry to come right in because I thought I would catch this. You know, when you see a fruit hanging, that's when you should get it. You said, yes. natu- you said natural wisdom, natural wisdom. And I'm yes. glad you said it at just the right time. Okay. I want you to, I, why I caught you here, not that I wanted to stop you. I'm sorry about that. But I thought this is what I wanted to hear. <laughs> and I wanted the world to know that what natural wisdom is. In today's world of everything becoming so unnatural and like we often say that we are not caring for the world around us and the world will get back to us. You said natural wisdom. When you look look back your beautiful life and you look ahead at what's ahead, I'm sure the crescendo's ahead. She had a story, she had a successful story where you really felt that okay, this is the passion in this person and the person found it. Yes. Um, The story I'd like to share um, is really like we were saying, chatting beforehand about different chapters in our life and how we reinvent ourselves. About 10 years ago, I retired from my fabulous job as a special education uh, team leader at our local high school. It was a, a beautiful job. I really enjoyed it. And then I was looking around for what's next because I really did want to share the three principles and share with young people more globally about this natural wisdom, this guide inside. Why? Because I saw the powerful effects it has on young people when they're given a clue as to how life works. So I was um, looking around seeing what was happening in the world of the three principles and um, I saw a post on Kathy Marshall Emerson's website. She's the director of the National Resilience Resource Center in the U.S. 
and she was looking for a global call for three principles curriculum. And she had this fabulous idea to offer the children three principles curriculum when they're young children, when they're preteens, and also when they're teenagers. And so I thought about it and discussed it with my family. And um, we quickly developed a passion for the idea. And then my guidance side was born. Um, it became Krista, you know, yes. now that the my guide inside is born and your three principles of mind, thought and action. Yes. Are natural wisdom. Yes. I would love you to tell us a story of a child, a story of a student who has transitioned, who is a role model for what you portray in your book and do this in a minute and a half. Okay. Um, the first student that popped into mind is a student who um, she was on my special education caseload. Um, she's a very bright student, very interested in um, working with the brain as a doctor, very high goals. Um, but she did have a, um, a special education designation and she was so anxious and so concerned about her future that she began to really get off track and um, would would start to even cheat on things just because she was so anxious to get that high standing to get into the university of her choice. Um, she joined the My Guidance Side uh, course that we offered for credit at the high school. And at first, like me, at first she argued with the principals. She was arguing that, no, my reality is based on circumstance. It has nothing to do with my inner self. And she argued about this. However, through the stories of My Guidance Side, which at the teenage level, they're all true stories of my students. She began to see the logic of thought creating reality. And she couldn't deny the logic. She is a bright girl. And she began to calm her intellect because the intellect can't do it all for us. We need hearts and minds. As her intellect began to calm down, she began to have a healthier lifestyle. You know what that means. Get a bit of fresh air, have some fun and recreation. And then when it's time to study, you have a clear, fresh mind to do your work. Um, she went on, she's now just in fourth year university and we did a, a follow-up three years later and it's so powerful to see how these principles, once you understand the logic, you just start to grow with them and you're never fooled again by thinking that you're a victim of the outside. You understand the part you play and take responsibility for your thoughts and your actions. Very powerful, really very beautiful to see. And this is why I have such a passion to share these principles. Because you can see on the one path, if you're relying on your intellect, you can really spiral down. And in the world today, we see students that um, are faced with anxiety and worse, isolation and sometimes even suicide ideation. Once they begin to see what they have within them, this natural wisdom, it starts to unfold like a like a blossom and that helps them with uh, practical things in their day-to-day -day, navigating their day-to-day -day. thank you krista i want to sum things up for our yes. listeners yes so we really think this idea of natural wisdom is very crucial to any education reform in the world yes and education only thrives with passion we all know it we've heard stories of school dropouts we've heard stories of street lights offering the light for someone to read below and the person becoming a thought leader and a celebrity there are many stories like that the story yes. you shared with us is one beautiful story what this really sums up is that if we understand our inner core 
which takes time and you kindly explained this lovely story that it took us a while for you and the person you were coaching to understand calm down think slow down breathe hard look out and you reka the moment will come absolutely and um, and we can we can stand on solid ground knowing that this is true universally and i i also love that sandy it's a passion that that just keeps growing because we've seen that this is be a, we respect culture in canada of course we have many cultures it's a new country but this is beyond culture this is a universal understanding that uh can help children around the world and it's such a joy to share which is uh of course fuels the passion even more thank you so much for joining me on this show where passion meets education may your passion fuel your life to a new crescendo and yes we will together spread the joy of learning absolutely bless you for what you do oh thank you i think when when we bring our passion and share our passion when in a school environment we reap the benefits and it's just a great way to live so thank you for this opportunity